Hey, everybody. So we have Bell Shine on today. Bell Shine has to be my favorite influencer on YouTube. So what's that watermelon around your neck? Well, okay. So that's the thing. I can't get the full thing in, but this is what I eat when I eat water, or this is what I put on when I eat watermelon. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if I've really introduced myself to your audience, but people sort of know me now as the 40 uh, year watermelon boar. So I've been on a very strict watermelon diet only for 40 years. And that's oh. all I, I eat about five pounds of watermelon a day. And um, yeah, it's really good. It's really hydrating. Five pounds of watermelon. So do you also ride a bicycle? Are you like the watermelon rider? Uh, no, no, I don't ride bicycles. I, I ride uh, dolphins sometimes when I go in the ocean, but I don't Ooh. really ride bicycles too much. <laughs> oh, so but, the the watermelon dolphin guy. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do at least a f three, four hours of uh, dolphin riding per day. And then oh. I come back, I, I'll have like a uh, watermelon smoothie, like a watermelon drink, I juice it up. But that's why I'm so big and strong. Like if you could see my muscles. Uh, scooter, the watermelon dolphin shooter. Sounds Ex exactly. <laughs> so what what are you eating these days, Belshine? Um, well, <laughs> pop tarts. Pop tarts. Um, what kind pop of pop tarts of do you like? Well, only the vegan ones. I like the strawberry. Um, they they've got some they they've got some really cool looking flavors, but some of them aren't vegan, so I just stick to the simple ones. Um, and... Are you into savory or sweet? Are you more into the fruity ones? I'm, I'm assuming you like fruity. Yes, yeah, but love <laughs> fruity, love fruity. All right. Yes. What, what... Um, but uh, the best thing is when you wedge a little, <laughs> when you wedge some tofu between those pop tarts. That oh, is yeah. so nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. You like the texture. Yeah. You like that that creamy nice... tofu goodness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like yeah. foaming at the mouth just thinking about it right now. Yeah. Well, you know, plaster that <laughs> plaster that tofu on the watermelons. You will have it's just to die for oh my god wow that's just like blowing my mind right now yeah. tofu with the watermelon it, it's fantastic oh my god. yeah 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 you know what's funny is that you know when i come on here and i tell people that i'm on a 40-year watermelon um eating journey people mm -hmm. think i'm like joking right and and i know that you most oh, i totally think you're serious i, I... yeah you know it's and i i really promote this diet i think it's the healthiest diet around um i've even thought about switching over to a no food diet so just eating no <laughs> food and uh, bring a breathivore have you heard about being like a, a breathivore so you just breathe air and that's like your food so so the thing i like about that is that guarantees that you not, are not going to be hurting any animals you're hurting no animals nothing Big or small uh, there, there's only one thing you got to be careful. If you're a breathivore, you've got to be really careful about going close to certain kinds of trees and shrubbery and stuff like that. Because imagine there's, <laughs> imagine there's a, a little insect on the on the branches. If you're breathing too much, you're going to damage that insect. So you know to be completely <laughs> one hundred percent vegan. <laughs> the thing about pop tarts is. They have a lot of nutrition. That label, nutrition label, is massive. I can't even pronounce some of the the stuff in that. And it's real fruit too, right? It's real fruit. You know what I do? You know what I do with my kids? So with my kids, um, like when, when we have friends over and I don't eat this myself, I would never eat this crap because I, I just eat watermelon. But if we're going to have like hot dogs, <laughs> um, they have to have a few bites of pop tart first to, before well, they could get the hot dog because of the hot course. dog is a treat. But if they, I have to make sure that my kids are getting a little bit of nutrition in first with that pop tart before they go to the hot dog. Well, it, it's important, right? I mean, cause with the with the the <laughs> sausage it's just ground up rubbish and also it's i mean at the end of the day it's dead animals yeah 
No. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, no, I mean, you're right. They they claim it is anyway. It might not be, but they claim it is. And um, you know, you want to at least get some nutrition in there. But what what are you doing? Why don't you get the kids on the watermelon? The problem is is that there are certain laws here in Florida that you, uh, and I've I've looked this up. It's actually in in the law book that there's an actual <laughs> law. It says that you can't just feed your kids watermelon. Are you serious? Yeah, you can't you can't feed your kids only watermelon. I looked it up. I call my lawyer, and apparently, <laughs> apparently, you could like be thrown in jail for life. <laughs> what about if it's a? <laughs> okay, so what about if it's a watermelon wedged between? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's the? <laughs> I, I don't know how women do this. Before okay, before you continue, Bell, I want to show you mm. uh the pop tart ingredients. We need everybody to see this, okay? Because this is ideally what you want to get uh your your kids on in terms of a diet. Um, and if you could do this as strictly as possible, because you really what you want you what you want to do is you want to mimic breast milk as close as you could get you could get. And right. this is this is a pop. This, <laughs> I'm this sure is, that's like my breast milk. Yeah, this is a pop yes. tart. It actually says on the back of the, the carton uh, that this is the closest mimicking breast milk pop tart that you could find. So if you guys okay. look at the ingredients here, look, they got vitamin B2 and vitamin <laughs> B1, thiamine for extra nutrition. Okay, and uh, soybean and palm oil, TBHQ for freshness. Look, you got some. And it's got a it's got a good serving of high fructose corn syrup, which we all know is. <laughs> yeah, strawberry. Look at this: strawberries, dried yeah. pears, dried apples, all... <laughs> red, yellow, forty, yellow six. They have all the color groups. All the color oh, groups in, in one. Oh, uh, a color is important, especially like the kids. <laughs> They need all the color groups. This is one thing exactly. I also like. This is uh, from uh, the Rainbow Grocery down the street. And uh, I I just want to promote them while I have a chance. So uh, this is one thing that my kids really like. So Milk. Milk. Almond milk. So our backside is our best side. And I thought that you would be down for that, right? <laughs> who, do you think, is what? who do you think is the sexiest <laughs> vegan alive? Oh, um. me you um I, I i'm quite partial to um what's his name ah oh, paul paul saladino he's kind awesome. of vegan isn't he yeah he is yeah he, do, he just he's needs a, a little bit more pushing he just needs a little bit more pushing yeah to, to go fully fully vegan i or think vegan, he's as i like to say I think he's mostly fruitarian. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, so, so it's kind of maybe he's more up your alley <laughs> with the watermelons. Yeah, he is. Yeah. See, I, I wasn't even thinking about Paul Sally, but that's a really good one. And uh, mm. I think, um, you know, for someone who's like truly a vegan, I would say, I would say Michael Greger is pretty sexy. Oh, I don't know. Have seen... I'll have to check him out. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you've seen there was like Michael Greger porn on the internet. Oh. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? What was he his... doing with his what was he doing with his fruit and veg? Well, he had some pretty uh explicit stuff going on with uh with some broccoli. <laughs> um you know, and uh that you know, I, a little... look, I'm not, look, I'm like, I, a I, hurty. well, I have a, I have a wife. Okay. So I, I shouldn't be saying this, mm. but it's the first time that I ever thought to myself, maybe I should switch. Maybe I should switch over because this, I'll show you a picture and tell, tell Broccoli me. Broccoli will do it to you. Yeah. There's a picture of, like, look at this. 
Oh, and he is hot. <laughs> I seriously, I don't, I, I can't even do this podcast anymore because I'm running to the store right away. <gasps> Watermelon, Watermelon Pop Tarts. Oh my good. And look at the size of that nutrition label. See? Oh my oh my god. Look how much nutrition oh. is in there. Enriched flour. Oh, enri- I love enriched flour. I love enriched it, flour too. Oh, it yes. I try to get in and, as and much. Nothing I like better than nothing I like better than sitting down on a Sunday afternoon with a good, <laughs> good book and a bowl of enriched flour. Enriched flour. You know what the thing oh. is that's really good about this though is, look, you see all these really healthy ingredients. But on top mm. of that, to make it even healthier, they add vitamin A. Uh, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin that, B1. That, that's important for your executive function. Yes. Yeah. Look, there's a vitamin B2 at the front. I didn't even know vitamin B2 was a thing. Vitamin B1, it's at the top as well. They have two vitamin B1s. There's a vitamin B1 at the, at the top and there's a vitamin B1 at the bottom. It's incredible. See? And why would you want to be a stupid carnival when you can eat this kind of thing? It's just exactly. like, why would you pass this up? Exactly. It's crazy. And they have all different types. This is just crazy. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? What is this? What's this? What is this? Hold on. I think I found something. Wait, no, <gasps> wait, no, no, edition. wait for it. Do you see this under it? Do you see this Oreos? Oh my, oh my watermelon <gasps> flavor Oreos. Wow. This is crazy. That looks amazing. But, but are they vegan? The watermelon flavor uh, Oreos? Yes. Let's uh, see here. It's a limited edition. Oh. Um, but this looks this looks absolutely incredible. I don't know. There's no ingredients. There's no ingredients. I think it's because they're probably so nutritious that there's probably so many ingredients that they can't fit it on the package. There's so much nutrition uh, in this. I, I would think so. I mean, colors alone would run the page, right? So so Belshine, um, we do have to get going pretty soon. What do you, what do you, what are you looking for in a man? Because I know that you're on the market. I know a lot, you have a lot of suitors lined up for you, uh, especially there in Japan, but what do you look for in a man? Despite, you know, what we talked about, like, obviously Michael Greger is the ideal man, but yes. let's be realistic. Okay. He's not the easiest guy to get you, even though you're a very pretty woman, um, you know, Thank we have you. to, we have to be realistic. Well, we have to be realistic, right? You know, Michael Greger is a little bit out of your league. I'm sorry, but it's true. But so, yes, well, so who, who, who would you like, who, who's your ideal guy? What do you look for? I want, I want to find a nice guy who's not going to cheat on me with a cow. Cheat on you with a cow. So the last guy, the last guy that I kicked out, he cheated on me with a cow. Be- oh no! Was he? What, was he? Was he like milking the teats? N- no, it wasn't even that. So he went to. He literally cheated on me with a cow. He ate a steak. Oh no! He went to the doctor. The, he went to the doctor, and the doctor said, "You're anemic. You need to start eating meat." And what did he do? He started eating meat. And so out onto the street, he went with his steak (laughs) and all his bits on the street. And I haven't seen him since. And I want someone who's not going to do that to me. I don't want some, I don't want someone that says I'm vegan. I'm vegan. Yes. I want to join you on this journey only to find out that he's got some stomach disturbance. And then he starts becoming a meat eater after a few months. It's pop tarts or nothing it's my way or the highway 
time. So I'm such a huge fan of your YouTube channel. I think it is the best YouTube channel on the planet that's ever existed. So much good information on there. If you guys are really looking to get healthy and you just want to improve your life in every way imaginable, you guys have to go to Bellshine's channel. Where can we find your channel, Bellshine? Veganbs.com. Veganbs.com. Okay, I'll link that down below. Everybody, you really have to check out Bellshine's channel. It will. It is a spiritual awakening. Honestly, it's it's uh, it's really touching. You love it. You love it, and the pop tarts will be coming out of your ears before you know it. <laughs>